A person's voice may provide the first clues to a neurodegenerative disease. There are some diseases where the very first manifestation is in someone's voice or their speech. As part of clinical practice, Mayo's neurology patients are often recorded when they have their voice or speech examined, which gives clinicians the opportunity to track the disease over time. But separate from the clinical practice, we have a large research program at Mayo where we are collecting voice and speech samples using a application that runs on the person's phone or their laptop computer. Catastrophe, catastrophe, catastrophe. Patients run through a series of exams remotely. The creation of this large speech bank, which securely stores all speech and voice samples, can be used for research, including using it to train AI algorithms. There are some signals in someone's voice and speech that a computer or an algorithm might pick up on that a human listener wouldn't pick up on. And so that's more of the sort of research AI side of things where we're trying to use hundreds of recordings in patients with various diseases and then trying to see if the computer can separate those diseases even though human listeners may not be able to. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dee Dee Steepen.